The 90mm gun motor carriage M36, informally known as the M36 tank destroyer. Specifications of the M36. Weight, 29 tons. Length, 7.46 width gun. Height, width, 3.05 meters. Height, 3.28 meters. Crew, commander, 3 gun crew and driver. Armor ranges from 9 to 108 millimeters. Main armament, 90 millimeter M3 gun, 47 rounds. Secondary armament, 50 caliber Browning M2 HB machine gun, 1,000 rounds. Engine, Ford GAA V8 gasoline, 450 horsepower, 336 kilowatt. Power to weight, 15.5 horsepower per ton. Transmission, Synchromesh gearbox with 5 forward, 1 reverse ratio. Fuel capacity, 192 gallons. Operational range, 240 kilometers on road. Speed, 42 kph to 48 kph on road. The M36 first saw action in Europe in September 1944 and served until the end of the war. The M36 also saw action during the Korean War. This tank also has seen service in many armies of many other countries, such as Bosnia, used in the Balkan Wars in the 1990s, Canada, Croatia, Croatia, used in the Croatian War of Independence, France, Free French and French Army post-war, Iraq, very few captured from Iran, Iran, M36B1 variant used during Iran-Iraq War, Italy, post-war use, Philippines from 1942 to 1960, Pakistan, used U.S. supplied M36s against Indians in the Indo-Pakistani Wars of 1965 and 1971. Republic of China, acquired 8 in 1955 from France, 2 still in service. Serbia, used some during the Balkan Wars. Slovenia, used during the 10-day war. Turkey, 222 given by USA. Yugoslavia, the Republic of Korea, retired 1959. General information, the advent of the M36 came out of necessity. The United States had realized before that they were engaged the Germans in Europe that they cur currently low velocity 75 mm was simply not enough. The M10 was quickly becoming obsolete against ever increasing German armor such as the Panther and Tiger tanks. The idea however to re of using a 90 mm to counter German armor predates the first encounters against uh, such tanks. The idea of using a 90mm was first introduced in September 1942. The first Tiger was not encountered until 1943, and the first Panther several months later. The M36 was in the prototype phase in March 1943. The United States had identified the threat of armored warfare well before the Germans had even brought the threat to the battlefield. They were, however, behind times in this department. The M36 is simply an improvement on an already well-proven system. The turret of the M36 was a new development, but the chassis itself was the one used for the M10. Called by the British the M10 Wolverine, the prototype designated T71 gun motor carriage. The M36 was similar to most U.S. tank destroyers of the time. Open top turret to save weight and provide better observation. Having a counterweight in the back of the turret, the counterweight held an additional 11 rounds of ammunition stored in it. Service of the M36. The M36 did not see service until 1944 in the European theater, only 1,400 M36s were produced during the war. The need for a 90mm gunned tank destroyer was so urgent that during October to December 1944 that 187 conversions of the standard medium tank M4A3 hulls were produced by Grand Blanc Arsenal. These M36s were designated M36B1s. They were rushed to the front lines and used alongside the standard M36. The tank itself was well loved by crews of these vehicles. One of the primary reasons is that they were able to take on heavy German armor that other tank destroyers could not. M36 crews quickly found that they could take on German Panther tanks at ranges of 1500 yards. A M36 from the 776th Tank Destroyer Battalion was able to penetrate the front of a Panther. The crew of these tanks quickly learned that it was better to aim for the turret rather than shoot the glacis plate. In addition, the crews found the Panther to be vulnerable when hit from the side, the tank did well in World War II and even saw service afterwards. 
The next engagement in the M36 was in Korea. It could destroy any Soviet-made AFV deployed in that theater of operation. There were a few improvements made on this already rugged tank. A ball-mounted machine gun on the driver's side, as well as armored fighting vehicles of the time. Due to the shortage of M26 and M46, the M36 became one of the preferred armored vehicles for the military during the military assistance transfers. South Korea was provided with 110 M36s, along with a small amount of M10s during the Korean War. The M36 was widely exported after World War II to various countries. Few of them still see service today, a testament to the American design, the rugged nature of combat.